so hey guys. It's been a really long time since I made a video. I thought I'd go ahead and do one since I just got 100 subscribers, which is awesome. I mean, that's very thrilling for me, and it's it's very, very amazing. And I just can't thank you guys enough, so I thought I'd do an update. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first off, I have my Gewehr 98. It is a World War One German Mauser. Um, the this one is a German stamped, and then later restamped for Turkish sale. It's dated 1918. It's a very nice rifle. I am a reproduction sling. I would let me just move that over so it doesn't mess with the canteen. All right. Uh, I do recommend these leather straps, well, uh, leather slings. They're they're very good quality. I do very much appreciate them. Um, let's see. Uh, so now that we got the Mauser out of the way, let me just move that over a little bit. Uh, that didn't do much. Next off, I guess we'll go right here. Now this is Splinter. Everybody comments. You can't, this is Splinter A, it's not Splinter A, this is Splinter B, yet I faded it wrong, I apologize, I know I've, it looks deceiving now, but it was based, originally based on the Splinter B, now it's Splinter, looks Splinter A because of very bad fading with limestone, I, I, I tried limestone and it, it messed it up a lot, so I do very much apologize for that guys. Um, that, that is my fault. Same thing with the, uh, as you can see down, like, on the bottom here. You know, it's all muddied and everything. And it's really light. Then it gets darker and darker and darker. This is Splinter B as well. Yet, it, it looks very light due to the, that fact. So, again, I apologize. But with the mud, you know, I, I can't help that. With limestone, that was my fault. Um... But the mud just makes this look lighter. Also, my camera does. Same thing with these trousers. Like, see, then you can kind of see. Anyways, they are the field. Uh, these are the uh, the grayish green. I can't think of the name of them. Anyways, they're not actually gray. They look gray on camera, but they're not gray. They're the green uh, M38, which I'll show later. Next on, let's go into the web gear. Um, as you can see, uh, right, anyways, um, they are brown, they're supposed to be a lighter brown, they just look darker on camera just for the fact that, uh, um, it's just the lighting in this room. Um, a funny thing about these, though, that, I think you can, kind of, yeah, you can see that they're brown now, oh, well, now you can't. Uh, anyways, I left these out the other day. I was just kind of weathering my gear a little bit, just making it look a little better, and I left these out in my garden. And, uh, we had just plowed it, so it's all muddy and everything, and these were left out in the sun and in the mud for four or five days. And I remembered today, so I went out and got them, and now they look all beat up and nice, and they, the leather's a lot easier to work with so I, I it's just funny that it worked out that way because I wanted them like that but I couldn't get them like that for some reason here we just have the replica potato masher plastic and fill it with dirt nice markings let's just do the web gear <laughs> again uh, brown car 98 pouches Luftwaffe issue and I uh, see you can kind of see the brown now uh, Silver Luftwaffe belt buckle. We've got a black and loose men's belt. We have a uh, tan. I believe this one is a 42, 43, something like that. Anyways, it's it's a reproduction, but it's got a fake date on the inside. And here we have my canteen with a field patch right here, so this doesn't break off. Um, M31 canteen with a gray wool cover here we have just a pair of Y straps at the front unknown 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 um, I believe these are at the front as well uh, I am a reproduction uh, pebble grain p38 holster 
original P38 uh, spree work, 1943 dated. I have a whole video about the pistol. Go look at it if you want to know any more about it. Oh, you can see the brown right now. And uh, my next set of Carnegie patches. So, I do have a bandolier, but I also have Carnegie patches. Uh, then here's the helmet. As you can see right here, I do have it painted. Uh, Normandy something, I don't remember the name of it. But it is painted underneath. I have burlap on it right now with uh, reproduction, uh, Zeltbond straps, and original 1920 Swiss goggles. Uh, reproduction helmet liner and helmet shell with original bolts painted for this that I got a while back. Uh, this. Next off, we have a Miltech. That's the name of this company, Miltech. Uh, reproduction Splinter B smock, jump smock. You can kind of see how dirty it's gotten over the past few weeks. I got a reenactment coming up in like a month or two. I think, a, yeah, a month. And I think a month and a half. Yeah, Miltech. Uh, you can, it's a nice little reproduction. Yet, I hate, the, the way they made these, they make them too light. So I do not recommend them. Unless you are really, really uh, good at darkening fabric. Next off, we have a amazing... Uh, reproduction of a M40 Fliegerblus by Hesed Antique. I got everything sewed on. You can see the two hidden pockets. I think I've got... Yeah. Alright. Yeah, hold on. As you can see, I'm going to block out my name. Uh, but anyways, there's my company, Stobbs Company. And this is just some of my identification for my unit. With a few more parts of my Luftwaffe identification. Got my eagle sewn on. I've got my color tab sewn on. Got my shoulder boards on. Correct for uh, Flossenjäger. And then underneath, we just got my field shirt. Tropical. Here we have my reproduction M38 reinforced jump trousers. Real nice quality reproductions. Uh, I believe these are Hessen antique, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so anyways. And then here we have uh, some very, very nice front laced boots. Um, truthfully, and in all honesty, I'll be straight with you guys. These are not real uh, FJ boots. Uh, they just look like the front laced, but again, they're not because I'm not going to pay $250. The only major difference is that the bottoms are not completely smooth, which I have sanded these down, so now it creates a smooth imprint when you step, yet it's not uh, the... Uh, what's it called? I can't think of the word. Anyways, that's the only major difference. And you know the inside are uh, built a little different. But they they work and they were a lot less than 250 So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all you subscribers and everything. So thank you guys so much. Also my wolf socks. Rate, comment, subscribe, and bye.